I can view a SAS dataset on the server through this tool here. I'm sorry, let me go back to my home screen. Uh, to this tool here called BI Flash. If I were to click on it or tap on it, it's going to connect to the server, the SAS server, and it's going to load the data uh, that I can view. Now, if I were to go to this data set view here, I will, it will list all the data sets that are available at this particular library. If I were to tap on that library, it shows me other libraries that I've been granted permissions to. So for example, if I look at this other library, these are the data sets available. So if I go back and look at the original uh, library, I can see all those data sets. And let's say I want to view this data set AE2. If I were to tap on that, it will show me the first 20 rows observations of that data set. So I can scroll through and see all the 20 rows. If I wanted to move to the next block, uh, next group of observation, I can click on this right arrow here. That would show me um, the next 20 rows. Uh, in this case, you know, it's the 21st to the 40th row. If I want to see all the different blocks, I can click on this um, here, the, the, the chunk, if you will. It will show me all the chunks of data, and I can scroll down, and let's say I want to choose the 800th um, uh, row, 860th row. It will jump directly to that, and I can see all the data from 800 to 880. This allows me to navigate through large sets of data um, in a, a low bandwidth connection on the iPhone. So if I were to also use the slider tool down here, I can slide it over to a particular chunk of data anywhere in my entire data set. In this case, I jump to the 761th row, and that's, that looks fine. Um, I can also optionally uh, look at different options here by click tapping on this top area. In this case, um, these are the options that I currently have. I can look at the attributes, which are like the proc contents. I can look at the formats, uh, or I can look at the variable names or labels. Currently, it shows me by name. If I were to switch that off and switch on labels, this will then show me the data set that is uh, by label instead of variable name. So notice that the columns now show the variable labels. So these are options that I can configure by flipping over to the Options tab here. Um, that would allow me to select any different types of labels uh, instead of you know, the, uh, uh, the variables. So this is a nice data tool that you can use to view your SAS data um, you know, dynamically on the iPhone.